To the people that don't want to use biotechnology, I tell them not to be afraid, to open up, to listen, to see what happens with biotechnology, the progress that it means. As a scientist working with biotechnology, I know the scientific side, all the advantages and possibilities. As a mother, I can say that I feel very safe with biotechnology. I have great faith in this technology. I believe in this technology because I have studied it in thousands of papers and I have not seen a single really permanent negative impact. So we can't just harshly and violently oppose this technology when we know that it can work for our farmers. Because the people who are opposed to these technologies are not the farmers themselves. They are people who can afford food. Every minute that we sit here, 10 preschool children will die from hunger and malnutrition. If you add that up on an annual basis, it's about 6 million preschool kids who die unnecessarily. That's not reversible. So we have to compare the benefits with the risks. And even if there were some risks, and we haven't found any yet, they would have to be compared to the benefits of taking that risk. The risk lies in not using biotechnology, in not utilizing the benefits for both the environment and society, in not using science to solve our problems of hunger, malnutrition, in hospitable areas where it's difficult to farm, Look at American experience on this. 280 million people eating genetically modified crops and there's no evidence of any harm to health. Because of the regulation, the study, the research and the development that has occurred in food biotechnology, that gives me confidence that what I feed my family in my own home is safe food. And the EPA and the USDA and, and the Food and Drug Administration have a, have a very precise protocol through which uh, a scientist or a private company needs to go to assure safety. The degree of scrutiny that that variety will receive is enormous. No doubt it is a very safe technology. This regulation that was developed to deal with biotechnology is extremely strict to make sure that every product that gets to the market is safe. These products are tested. They are tested from the beginning in the lab. After that, this plant goes to a greenhouse where it is analyzed agronomically. Then these plants go to the field, small experimental areas both for agronomic analysis and environmental analysis. If the plant will be used as food, all tests for allergies and toxicity are done. And only when we are sure that a product will not cause any problems can it go to the market. The testing is much stricter than for conventional foods. The Japanese uh, have a, a criteria for a food safe food. The European Union and their countries have a certain set of standards and we have a set of standards. Those are well agreed upon. The issue of whether or not a crop that is developed through biotechnology is in fact safe or not safe, it's not the issue. It's whether or not it's on the market or not and whether or not consumers will have access to it. Science is a positive thing, it's a plus factor, not a negative scare factor. You know, you're standing on an XGM site. Where are the super weeds that we were told we couldn't control? It's a nonsense. Uh, and so a lot of the things that were there as scares, I think we've been able to get physical evidence that it's all wrong. These products have been sold for more than 10 years, and there is no evidence of harmful effects for the environment, animal or human health. This is a safe technology. If I knew that biotech was hazardous to the environment or to humans, I wouldn't raise it. But the science is behind us. All the research, all the data, everything that we have at our disposal is in our favor. And uh, believe in solid science. Believe in facts. Live in truth.